sir, what was your reaction dun sa 9? Masyado mababa po ba yun para sa inyo? Hindi ah, sabi ko sa ating Pinas po. Hindi, yung original mo. Bago po ni pinakialaman ni the one single Filipino lawmaker who did the greatest disservice sa ating. And I will tell you who is responsible for this law. It's Kiko Pangilinan. No offense to... Hindi naman siguro kayo magano. When he... From... The criminal law is below 9. 9 below. 9 below 12. Above 12, 16. Then the... Indeterminate sentence law. Pangilinan's law, 15 years old, you commit rape every day, you are out of prison. You give, you, 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 you give the police the, the, the show every day, you kill, you rape, they will release you. There's no such thing as a uh, correctional... It, it's what happens after they commit crime. Nothing. There's no appearance in court. The police just simply may say, he's 15 years released. Irrespective of the severity of the crime. Kay Kiko, pangilina niya. Eh, ayun, patsoy-tsoy, advance, ano, ano. We were good with the old law. You know, you don't follow legislations in other countries. They seem to be ideal but not in all places also of that country. The mayor now of Davao City said, said, anak, no, Ma, uh, it's a daughter, what do you want for your birthday? She was about second year in high school, said, Papa, I want to have dinner with Sharon Coneta. I don't. So I had to call, uh, I had to call uh, Senator Pangilinan. Pero, I have to be, Senator, I, 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 I owe you for doing it to my daughter. I respect you, and I, 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 this is a thing I would like not to do, I hate it. But I have to be honest to the nation. It is you, the singular person of this country, who is responsible for all of this now. I'm referring to the children. Because you passed the law, you copied it, it's either the New York, uh, uh, State of New York uh, offend, Juvenile Offenders Law or the, the State of Washington. You know, when you say that they will be not in prison, you ought to have provided under the law an automatic recurrent money to build correctional facilities. They have to ask. Just like in America, you copied that uh, you from nine, well, below nine, their babies, above nine, below 12. You have to determine whether or not there was malice. Of course, stealing food to me is not is no malice. Clothes. But, uh, you know, uh, doing indecent things uh, against a woman, there's always malice there. Then above 12, below 16, where you play the indeterminate sentence, it either be you full term or short term depending on the court and the severity of the of the criminal mind that's how it's being done ang problema kay pangilinan senator I, I i i wanted during the campaign to talk about it but i refrained because i said that uh, uh i i you know when you ask a favor Pero kita mo naman, pagkatapos, they are brought to the station. And when the, ch the child says that I am only 13, 
And he goes back to commit another crime. Sometimes there are four snatching cases a day. And they go in and out. That's good that you, you maybe, to this point, you know, some sociologists there and criminologists. It was good that you had to, uh, the higher uh, motive did is, um, okay, the, 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 the children, 15. But you, when you commit the crime in and out, in and out, in and out every day, what do you expect of, the, of that generation when they grow up? Now, this is not what happened in Kian or the whatever previous incident. I would be very sparing in my... I'm not attributing it. Why is it that you find many minors walking around at night? There's a curfew but it is not enforced. Most cities have laws against minors roaming around, doing nothing in the streets. Davao City is one city which enforces the curfew. But in many places here in Manila, Manila you cannot. Kaloocan and the Metro Manila itself. Now they walk around. Why do they have... I'm not referring to any particular incident. Ganito yan eh. Ako, I'm 72. Then I be friend, or a friend, or a cousin, alay kasama ka. Then I go walk around, may lapit sa akin. And, and uh, they have this uh, talkatis about uh, drug, mention something about bato, or pare, meron ka ba dyan? Uh, sige, uh, uh, how much? How many? Uh, uh, five sachets. Okay, you, in that corner, you you stand there. Just wait for five minutes. Salis ako. Tapos I call the child. He will buy so that man. Give it to him and get the money. If per chance there is a bus by, mahuli. <laughs> Once he gets over the child, up, ah, I'm a minor. E. Because if you hurt or bring or imprison a minor, that policeman will go to jail. So, hindi, dalin lang sa estasyo, hindi. The distributor, the peddler, runners na, they're just running the errands, yung mga bata. They don't know what's actually being delivered. But by now, because it's a common practice, alam na nila yan. But we said, I was, a, I, 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 I'm a prosecutor. I always have that thing of, you know, trying to solve how it is. How was it done? So, pag nahuli yung, if the child is caught, simply goes away, rides a motor, to trade for another day. That is the problem of our country today. At itong mga magtago ng droga, you know, if uh, I will be blunt, I don't mind if you are caught with one ton of Shabu, and I am around, you are dead. You are dead. 